Hi, my name is Soroya Smith, and I am excited to walk you through how to use the Smart Path Racial and Social Justice Lesson Guides. I serve as a diversity, equity, and inclusion learning experience designer, and a part of my role is creating resources for teachers to be able to um, add depth and breadth to their curriculum. And that may look like allowing students to access additional perspectives for their standards. And for the purpose of the Smart Path um, Economic Literacy Curriculum, I have created um, various considerations, um, suggested read alouds, and uh, additional details that I'll walk you through today. All right, so again, the purpose of these um, racial and social justice guides is to really support our educators in having storylines um, that will supplement and complement the SMART Path curriculum with a racial and social justice lens. Um, these guides are meant to be used in conjunction with SMART Path platform, you may find that some practices you use across your day. So for instance, developing a safe and brave space for students to be able to have conversations about questions they have in the world is a, is a good practice just to have throughout your environment. So let's jump into one of these guides. So this is um, a level one resource. The way that these resources are laid out is there will always um, be the concepts for each, for each level. So for level one, I think there is about three lessons and each lesson has a concept. So that you can see the alignment between the concepts and the social justice standards, you'll notice that there's learning for justice, social justice standards, that are um, indicators of possible look fors that students can do as they're accessing these concepts in the Smart Path platform. The dimensions of diversity um, and inclusion that the social justice standards cover are identity, diversity, action, and justice. So you'll see various opportunities to pull in these standards to um, add a social justice lens to the Smart Path curriculum. The next field you'll notice is considerations. So these considerations are an opportunity for you to really be thoughtful um, before you jump into the discussion questions and the extension activities, just to be thoughtful. Um, there's uh, some culturally responsive practices that will create an environment that's conducive to um, have these conversations with students or to have experiences where they have a lens of curiosity about the world around them and the people that live in it. So in this particular level, there's a, um, there, there, there's a, a note to really be aware of the impact that conversations around money can have on your students based on their families, access to opportunities and resources. So there's gonna be conversation, there's a uh, read aloud where there's a child that you know, really wants to uh, buy shoes. It's this book called Those Shoes. And his grandmother's letting him know, like, you know, we have a lot of needs and the, the, the priorities aren't these shoes that you really want. And so be, being really sensitive that, um, you know, there may be some concepts from the texts that are in these social justice guides that create energy or resonate for your students in uh, so many different ways. And so just making sure that uh, those conversations are sensitive and responsive to the lives that our students live. And there's also um, guides around assumptions. Um, so for instance, this last bullet says assumptions about groups of people can perpetuate stereotypes. Be curious about the stories of your students and create space for them to share their voice so that they can socially construct ideas with their classmates. 
we have a rich curriculum and Smart Path has done such a great job in providing the resources for students to be able to um, have a, a fun and playful environment as they dive into these um, economic literacy concepts. But there's also rich knowledge, funds of knowledge in our students. And so there's so much power in connecting students to each other so that they can really learn from their classmates. So teaching that um, superpower of curiosity really helps us to quiet our assumptions. And when we are curious, then we really have a great setting for that social construction to take place not just between students and their teacher, but from student to student so they can learn about those rich lives and experiences that they may not know about otherwise unless they interacted and talked and connected with each other. The next category in our social justice guides are discussion questions. <clears throat> These discussion questions are um, ideas for how you can continue having conversations with students around the concepts that are presented in the Smart Path curriculum. A lot of these discussion questions will pull from those social justice standards. So I'm just gonna scoot back up so you can take a look. So for instance, the diversity social justice standard, um, there's, these are statements that are uh, look for um, outcomes, learning outcomes that we want our students to have. So I find it interesting that groups of people believe different things and live their daily lives in different ways. And so you'll notice in order to help our students be able to unpack that and access that idea, there's some conversations that we can have with them. So how does your family plan to make a purchase? And as you have this conversation with students, they'll get to both share and hear the different ways that their classmates plan to have a purchase. So that'll really add some depth to that idea of diversity that families plan to make purchases in different ways. And those ways can be, um, are in alignment and impacted by the needs that different families have. Again, you can, um, you'll, you'll, add an, another layer of question to get to that metacognition. How is, how is that the same or different from other students in our class? So as students are thinking about their ideas and they're sharing their ideas, sometimes you need an extra layer of question to really get them to process what their classmates are saying. That's when that social construction can happen. As they're thinking about how is my life and my planning the same and different from my classmates. Again, that allows us to go deeper than an assumption and really get curious about those stories in the ecosystem of our classroom. So these discussion questions can fit in different formats of your day. I know when I um, taught for 12 years in the classroom, we had a morning meeting structure. We um, did the responsive classroom approach. So if you have something like a morning meeting you may decide that you want to insert these questions in your morning meeting. Maybe you do a question a day and it could be your share. Maybe you don't have a morning meeting structure, but you have an end of the day question activity. Um, I encourage you to find time to just sit down and talk with your class. When you make it a practice of having a community conversation in your classroom, you really allow student voice to become a regular rhythm in your classroom. When student voice is a regular rhythm in your classroom, students are able to feel that their lives are embedded within the values of the classroom, that the classroom and the curriculum in it is not just something that's handed to our students, but they are really a part of it. And so then your curriculum changes year to year, class to class, period to period, depending on the students in it. So those questions um, can, uh, fit into different formats of your day. I've even seen some teachers as we've had experiences online um, create a Flipgrid video where they'll float the question out um, for students to be able to answer from a home environment. Um, these questions are great to even uh, invite your families into. You may put them into the newsletter and say, hey, these are some questions that we had some discussion around. You know, you can continue to have these 
conversations with your children at home. Each guide will also have an extension activity. So again, um, these extension activities can give students that time to share their voice. There's a turn and talk practice where they can talk about, you know, what do you do when you first wake up? They can elaborate on those wants and needs that they have um, in order to be able to do those tasks, again, so that they can learn from the diversity of the lies for each other. And then also continue to build that self-esteem in their own identity as they get to share with the world the lives that they live. There's also journal prompting. So making it a practice to story tell is a very rich opportunity for your students. Um, a journal is a, is a great way for them to have a, a share that may be private. They may decide that they wanna share a piece of it with their teacher or their classmates. But again, it allows them to access that metacognition, that practice of really thinking about a time that someone thought differently than them in this instance. It gets them to do that self-discovery. That's such an important part of what we call Mason, um, what we call what Mason calls personalized learning. And so that self-discovery is an attribute of personalized learning that the journal prompt can create um, uh, a, a rhythm in your classroom for. The last component of the guides, this is my favorite, I have to admit, I love read alouds. I love being able to invite students into a story that they may not otherwise have access to. The pictures and the text in the story are good for all learners. There's so much research on how um, picture books and read alouds are good for our secondary students and even adults. I use them in professional development. And so in these suggested read alouds, you'll find suggested stories that um, add richness to those concepts that Smart Path has embedded within to the learning lessons, as well as really brings to life those social justice standards that we talked about initially. There's discussion bullets and um, concepts so that I know as teachers, you're in a hurry and you're like, you know, I really wanna think about this book. I wanna be able to have conversation around it. And so, there's bullets that um, can guide you into really thinking about how to add some questions um, <clears throat> after reading the text. When you go to the link, <clears throat> there's a quick sy synopsis. And so um, there's synopsis and reviews that you can access when you click the link and learn a little bit more about the book. And then there's also a YouTube video um, read aloud that you can access. So one of the questions for those shoes is discuss what grandma means when she says, <coughs> there's no room for want around here, just need. And then also the bullet, people live their lives in different ways. And sometimes life is just harder for others for reasons that are not always fair. So again, this highlights and adds richness to that um, social justice standard. I know that life is easier for some people and harder for others. And the reasons for that are not always fair. It's important to have these conversations with students as they um, have conversations about experience that's, that they have outside of school. Um, let's say you have a conversation after winter break, for instance, it can very quickly turn into a conversation that really um, emphasizes some of those differences in life. So um, that aren't always fair, right? So you may have families in your classroom that have a caregiver that aren't accessing a livable wage. And how does that impact the experiences that they can provide for their child? Um, as a teacher, having an, an understanding of this uh, social justice framework within the context of a smart path curriculum of the smart path curriculum allows you to um, have the confidence and understanding to be able to navigate these important conversations with your students. The outcome that we want is that the students in our classroom go on to be global citizens full of empathy and curiosity of the various lives and perspectives in the world around them so that when they step into roles as educator or scientists, they can design for people that are both like them and dif different for them. 
they can move in the world with a rich empathy and a curiosity for the people that they do life with. And our world will be a much better place because of it. Thank you for joining this journey and thank you for um, being open to using these guides to um, add a lens of racial and social justice to your curriculum.